Exposure to blood-borne diseases is a serious concern in the healthcare industry. Because of this, in 1991, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration created a new regulation dealing with blood-borne pathogens, the disease-causing microorganisms found in human blood, as well as human blood components and products. While there are a number of blood-borne pathogens, those causing hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and the human immunodeficiency virus pose the greatest threat. Human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, is one of the newest blood-borne pathogens and is spreading rapidly. It is believed that over one million people in the U.S. have already been infected. Currently, no vaccine exists to prevent infection of HIV, and there is no known cure. Symptoms experienced at the onset of HIV infection can vary. They include weakness, fever, sore throat, nausea, headaches, diarrhea, and other flu-like symptoms. However, many people with the HIV virus show no apparent symptoms for years after their initial infection. Controlling the spread of HIV is very important. It is generally believed that those who contract HIV will ultimately develop acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, or AIDS. AIDS results in a breakdown of the immune system, canceling out the body's ability to fight off other diseases.